What is good? What is good? We're going to talk about Mike, no like Mike's trip to Haytai, Missouri. Was it good intentioned? A lot of people think, oh man, he went too far. You know, he, he was going there to beat Square up or this or that. And uh, I talked to No Life Mike today, you know, because he said some things I didn't really like about me, different things. But you know what? I've heard No Life Mike say this many times. You know, he talks about his friend that passed away. And I know I've lost a lot of friends to, to the drug addiction. And, uh, you know, I know how that touched me. So I've heard him compare Square to his friend who was addicted to prescription medicine many times. I've been a No Life Mike supporter for a long time. Whether I agree with what he said about me or not, I'm still going to support the dude because, you know, um, everybody's open their opinion. And, you know, I think the guy's a real one. He's a genuine guy. And I'm going to keep supporting him. And he shared today with me, you know, when I talked to him, he said, you know, a lot of people have been switching up on him about his trip to Haytai. And you know what? I respect Mike for going to Haytai. He shared with me he was going to show Square some pictures of his friend who died do the same cocktail drugs that Square is prescribed right now. And if I don't back Mike on this one, then my whole message of recovery and, and, and everything is fake. And I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to back Mike on this. You know, he can think I'm fake or whatever. I know my intentions are wholehearted and real. So, you know, if he went there in the intent to try to show Square this guy who passed away to the same cocktail drugs that Square is prescribed, and I believe that's what he did because I've heard Mike talk about this for months. So, was Mike in the wrong for doing that? No, Mike was really trying to give Square a real life intervention. And I gotta say a big salute, Mike. I, I you know, I hope you take it for what it's worth. I, I respect the hell out of what you did, man. If you were going there with that intention, I gotta respect it, man. And for all them people who's hating on him because. You know, they're using trail square is, you know, something to troll and the worky verse and all that. At least Mike took a couple hours out of his day to try to save this kid's life. Because let's face it, we all know what road square is going down. And it's not a good road. It's a road that ends in the penitentiary or death. That's it. Maybe an institution. But that's the three options for square if he don't find recovery. So Mike, man, I'm doing this all in one shot, one take. I respect what you did, bro. I got to. Um, hats off to you, man, uh, for for uh, trying to save Square's life. It's a lot more than a lot of these people do that's trying to troll him. And I'm not hating on the people trying to troll him. But, man, at the end of the day, if this kid dies, how are we all going to feel? That's all I'm going to say, man. And, and I'm not saying all hurry and give Square sympathy because... The sympathy is something that has ruined Square's life. Square's realized that he was able to manipulate and get, as long as he was able to get sympathy from Papaw or whoever was around, that he can get his way. And that's been nothing, done nothing good for Square. That's why Square is the person he is today. And um, that's why I've tried to give him a tough love approach, you know, and, and not saying that my way is the right way either. But man, at least Mike took the time out of his day to, to waste a you know, $50 in gas or whatever he wasted in gas money and time away from his kids to try to show Square, look, bro, you're going to end up like my buddy. You're going to end up like my dad buddy, bro. And that, that that's more respectable than anything anybody has done for Square so far. So, no like Mike, much respect for that, man. Um, the sad truth is I don't think anything's going to change for Square until something drastic changes, he gets in some legal trouble or something like that. Um, that's the sad truth with most addicts that like something crazy has to happen in their life to where they have to get some sobriety under their belt. And then after getting some sobriety under their belt, they realize life is better with them being clean. At least I know that's how it worked out for me. And a lot of people that I've seen have success in recovery. So either way, man, like them or not, what No Life Mike did was more than what anybody else has done for Square at this point. So much respect for that, bro. Y'all, we do promote recovery around here. Some people might not like me, some people do, some people don't. It is what it is, man. I know my own truth. I know the money I've spent to help addicts. 
um, out of my own pocket. And that's, you know, I don't, you know, and I do that just to pay it forward. I don't want nothing for that. You know, I do it for my recovery and anyone who does need help finding resources in their area, because that's what I do. I don't try to sponsor people on the internet or anything, but if you want resources in your area, like meetings to find, or you need help getting into like an, you know, outpatient treatment or an inpatient treatment, and you don't know where to start, hit me up in the comments and I'll help you find some places in your area. That's all I do on here, other than promote recovery. And if you want to talk on, on you know, about recovery or something, that's cool. But, you know, I don't sponsor people on here. I, I just try to let people know you can recover from, from drug addiction. You can turn your life around the whole 180 and live your best life still, no matter where you're at with addiction right now. So for anybody who's got it twisted on what I do with the recovery stuff on here is I just promote that recovery can save your life and can change your life. Remember, keep on grinding, keep on shining, go to work, pay your bills. Don't be a square, y'all.